Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Good morning. It is currently 1037 PM as I'm recording this. I'm just getting ready to go to sleep after streaming some PUBG hey, and listen. PUBG, one of their community managers, Hawkins tweeted out a PUBG 2021 roadmap. There's some spicy stuff in here, including a Miramar remaster, a brand new eight x eight tiger map, and a recently announced eight x eight city map called Kiki. Let's take a look. All right, so if we float on over to Twitter, we'll see that Hawkins just tweeted out, what's this now then? 2021 PUBG dev plan world. And if we click on it, we're greeted with a brand new artist image of the map Tiger. This is an eight by eight map. And we can see it's got a good mix of like Erangel type design and foliage with some different Sandhawk style compounds and buildings. A nice little blend. Uh, looks like what could be maybe like a destruction derby uh, center point here. It's got a little lake and some river. So a lot of different terrain potentially on this new map. Can't wait to see more on this. Then we've got, look at this guys, look at this. This is called Kiki. This map is called Kiki. This is an early development stage still. So it hasn't actually been rendered out. This is again, just an artist rendition of what they think it's going to look like. But it's a eight by eight Korean city map with foliage that matches somewhat of Sandhawk. So think like Sandhawk density foliage and like this overgrown, rundown, futuristic type city. The vibe looks freaking dope. I love the look of this. Can't wait to see more of this when they actually render out some images and show us, but looks really cool. This little futuristic kind of helicopter drone looks really similar to some of the stuff we saw in PUBG New State, you know, PUBG Mobile 2's uh, trailer. I'm wondering if they're sharing any assets there, but more on this to come. And then here you go. So we weren't tricked after all. Miramar is seeing a remaster. It is coming with PUBG Season 12, Update 12.1. Here is a look at Hacienda at a kind of dusk setting. And if you're familiar at all with Miramar, you can tell there's some there's some changes here. There's, there's some changes here in the layout. So let's dive into the uh, into the patch notes or the, the dev plan, I should say. So here you're greeted with three slices of a map. We've got Miramar. This is what Tiger looks like. And I know it's kind of hard to see because they, they kind of blurred it out in the background. But just look at how green the grass is, how blue the sky is. Very uh, Erangel esque in terms of like the weather and aesthetics of the map super excited for that one all right now i'm not going to read all this stuff i'll just kind of summarize a few of the key points i'll link all this uh in the patch notes or in the comments below rather so you guys can click on it and go read it yourself but at the beginning they just outline all of what they did during 2020 they're thanking you know the teams and the community for being involved and sticking with them during the hardships of 2020 and then talking about what they want to start doing for 2021 and here's a key point here as we mentioned after experimenting and learning with the smaller maps and their unique features during 2020, we've taken the time to refocus on what we know many of our core audience values the most. 2021 is the year of the large map and will be in more ways than one. Let's start with some easy wins before we talk about our plans for new and shiny. So they're first off, they greet us with the Miramar update, the Miramar update. So it says Mirabar map has been needed to love for a while. Their last revamp was a long time ago. With 12.1, they'll be introducing a much larger remastering of Miramar, taking into account many of the technologies we've employed in our newer maps, in, uh, including lighting, performance, graphical fidelity, topography, and of course, special features. And here's just a little side-by-side -side image of what Miramar used to look like. Here's what it will look like now. And this on the right side it does look a lot like the um miramar lore uh they, they posted a couple of days ago that i did the video on if you remember reading that article or seeing that video that i did looks very very similar my only initial concern here is a uh, miramar sometimes at least for me was kind of too bright it was, it was hard to look at for long periods of time and to me it looks like they've made it even brighter at least on this particular weather setting so obviously we'll have to see in game but uh, there you go. Expect to see big overalls, overalls, overhauls into terrain and buildings, textures and layouts, easier traversal with the removal of unnecessary obstacles, and even updated cliffs to better fit in the more vertical experience the game has become. 
more vaulting, more ledge dropping down safely. Miramar's remaster will make its way into the live server soon, so keep an eye out for more information. It says with update 12.1, 12.1 comes out next Wednesday, just as a spoiler alert. Super excited about this, guys. Hope you are too. Now here it is, code name Tiger. This is the image I just showed you a minute ago. Following the remaster of Miramar comes the first new 8x8 battleground in three years. Three years. Tiger will utilize all aspects of the battlegrounds that you've known to love over the years, but with one key change. The ability to return to the battle after an initial defeat. PUBG's bringing respawns, boys. This is a feature we've been we've seen become fairly common in the battle royale genre and is something we've been asked about quite a bit, especially when it comes to solo or duos and squads. Yes, more specifically duos and squads. If you've been paying attention, we've experimented a bit recently with what respawning on a battleground looks like, and Tiger is a big reason why. That was a limited time labs mode. I did a video on it uh, a few weeks ago. I'll link that if you want to check that out. Besides respawns, new features never before seen in PUBG will continually be added to Tiger, so stay tuned. I'm hell of excited. Hell excited. And just wait a minute before you guys go raging in the comments about how you're going to quit because PUBG's adding a respawn system. First of all, we don't know how it's going to be implemented yet. Second of all, it may not even be for solos because they do specify duos and squads. Third of all, it might be lit AF. If they implement it in a smart and realistic manner and only have it for phase like one and phase two of the game, because it says, look, your initial defeat. So maybe it's only, you only get one chance to be brought back or something like that. I mean, obviously I'm, I'm speculating. There's a lot of different things it could do, but I'm so excited they're finally testing it out and they're making it map specific, which means we're only gonna get to respawn on this map. So. It's a fair way to test it out to see if players like it or don't like it and if they want to implement it or change it for other maps. Love that direction. Code name Kiki. Do you love me? The 8x8 goodness doesn't end with Tiger. No, 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 no. In late 2021, early 2022, our fourth 8x8 map will launch. Kiki will boast a diverse set of locations from mysterious underground labs to massive skyscrapers, to swampland, to subways, to underwater buildings. We're looking at many different locations to thrill and challenge survivors in our most diverse and exploration-focused battleground yet. Planning for Kiki is still pretty early, but we'll be back with more information later in the year. We're beyond excited to be getting back to business as usual in 2021. Uh, they're doing what they do best, 8x8 survival experiences to test even the most battle-hardened survivors out there. Between Miramar, Tiger, and Kiki, you can look forward to a whole year worth of new and improved 8x8 content. Always chock full of new weapons. Always PUBG. Hey, Come on, bro. Listen. Vehicles, items, and plenty of PUBG's signature style. On behalf of everyone here, we'd like to thank you for your continued support and feedback. We'll be back soon with a part two of our 2021 dev plan, which will go over core gameplay and service. Thanks again. And we'll see you in the battlegrounds. Nobody quote this. We'll be back soon. Don't quote that. You guys know better. Um, God, that's so much to take in, guys. That's so much to take in. Uh, I'm so happy that Miramar is actually getting remastered. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That, that's amazing. I can't wait to see how it actually looks in game. I can't wait to see the changes they've made to it. Spruce up the map and kind of uh, give it some new life. Really looking forward to that. Tiger, though. This is by far my favorite part of this update. Tiger is going to be my map. I don't know why I know that already. I just know it. And I'm hoping that this, uh, this ability to return after battle is done well. Because I know there's a lot of people that are scared about that. I hope it's done well. I hope it's not cheesy. I hope it's not too arcadey. And I hope it succeeds. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, if you enjoyed today's video, as always, leave it a thumbs up. Share it with a buddy to help get it out there. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed to one of the best places to be on YouTube for PUBG content. Uh, thank you guys very much for supporting the channel. And I will see y'all in the next video. I'm out. Peace. Woo!